guys and welcome to my channel welcome if you're new make sure to like subscribe and let's get right into the video here are my natural nails i've done all the nail prep i had to do and before we start this nail is no fungus or anything you guys i hurt myself so bad like i was in the pantry um let me tell you the story while i'm gluing them on i'm gonna be using my kitty's nail glue and I got these nail tips from longhairprettynails.com Anyways, I was in the pantry trying to get a snack from my child and I missed like, I have like these wire shelves in my pantry and um, yeah, I missed, I don't know how I missed a box of crackers I wanted to get and my hand or my nail like went through the hole and i don't know how but i heard it so bad and yeah so i got a little bruising right i know it looks disgusting guys i'm sorry i'm gonna be doing that nail pretty quick um please don't come for me like i'm not a professional or anything everything i'm doing is self-taught and i tried to look online to see like what they recommend to do i couldn't find much on that and i'm still gonna be doing that nail the only thing i was reading is that the nail probably is gonna come off um yeah so if it's gonna come off it's gonna come off but i do not want to look at this ugly nail so i'm just gonna be putting something over it if you're in the same situation please do that on your own risk like that's my nails and if i'm getting anything worse than what i have already then that's on me but um yeah just wanted to mention that like i said please don't comment me for doing that oh yeah nail tips are on and i'm gonna go for a short nail set today i have four magnets let's see if i like the length all right i think four is good i want these nails to be short but you know not too short <laughs> Alright, I think that's a pretty good length. Next step is gonna be reshaping the nails and also take the shine away and blend in the nail tip of my natural nails. And you guys, I bought this from Shein. It's like a little, I don't even know what you call it, like a disposable little thing where you put over and it collects all your nail dust and it's so good. Literally, I would recommend buying this. It was like a few bucks and i'm so happy i have this it collects the dust way better than the actual nail dust collector so i would highly recommend you going on she and type in nail dust disposable sheet or whatever i can see if i can find a link um that's not sponsored or anything i just really highly recommend that thing it's really good anyways i'm gonna go in with my 8080 grid nail file and start reshaping the nails Alright, next step is going to be applying a base coat. Alright, let's get into the application. I'm going to be using my Macar Poly Gel in the color French Press. I'm going to put a bit down and start patting the poly gel in place i did my pinky nail just to like get it out of the way basically so you don't have to look at my ugly as nail <laughs> but yeah honestly the pain i felt was so bad like i don't know when i hurt myself that bad the last time so yeah it was not fun at all i was like even crying and i'm usually a person that doesn't cry much especially over pain so yeah it was really bad <laughs> i hope it's not gonna come off honestly since i'm doing nails and i love having pretty nails i feel like that's like the worst nightmare <laughs> i could have i know like i'm maybe exaggerating a little bit but you know if you like the for your nails basically you get what i'm saying <laughs> I mean, yeah, there's worse things you can have, but you know, I'm just saying, like, 
you know what i mean right <laughs> i feel like lately there has not been any good shows out like when i do my nails i like either watching a show or listen to some music but like i've been having such a hard time finding anything interesting that i like to watch i don't know maybe i'm just too picky but watching tv nowadays is like not the same i don't know i grew up in the 90s so it was back then different and way more enjoyable <laughs> just working with two beats is much easier for me than doing it with one beat it gives me more time to focus on the areas more especially if i work around the cuticle area i want it to be nice and i don't have to like worry about it running too much than when i'm doing it with one beat one beat is always like i need to rush and hurry so it's not like floating into my cuticle too much it takes more time to like do two beat method but like i said it just gives me more time to focus on the cuticle area and if i have the time i don't mind spending the extra time i think that's one reason i wouldn't want to do nails on other people is just because it would take me forever <laughs> like doing my nails i feel like i've gotten way better than before but like doing nails on other people i feel like it takes me way too long i did like my sister-in-law's nails once or twice and it took me way too long when my sister was visiting i did her nails and it took forever <laughs> but also i don't have much practice on doing other people's nails maybe that's why All right, here are the nails after all the polish was laid and let's start reshaping the nails. Even though I did like a bigger layer here on this nail, it's still showing through. I kind of wish I used a different poly gel color, honestly. Uh, it looks terrible. And for the nail design that I want to do, I, use, I need to use this background, so I don't know. Maybe I'm just gonna go with a new tone, I don't know yet. But yeah, let's start reshaping the nails. Alright, nails have been shaped, filed and buffed. Let's apply the nail art. I'm gonna go for this green today and I'm gonna apply French tips. Alright, all the French tip is on and now let's start doing the flowers.
perfect. And now I'm gonna go over with some top coat. Now I'm going to apply some cuticle oil. And here are the finished nails. I think these turned out so cute. I love the design and the green. I'm kind of like in, a, in my green era. <laughs> so I've been loving like all the green colors. But yeah, I think these are so cute. They were so easy and simple to do. And yeah, I just love everything about them, honestly. <laughs> I'm happy how they turned out. You still can see where it's bruised underneath, but that's okay. I'm just gonna try to let it rest without touching it too much. If the nail falls off, it falls off. If not, then that would be great. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye.